And last night, 60 Minutes contributor Anderson Cooper looked at the threat of asteroids and comets to Earth. He learned most are going undetected. A former astronaut told 60 Minutes it's like a game of cosmic roulette. In a moment, we'll talk with Professor Michio Kaku. But first, here's a look at Anderson's report. But as the scriptwriters of the Hollywood blockbuster Armageddon vividly imagine, asteroids have the potential to harm mankind as well. For better or worse, this is what many of us know about near-Earth objects. That if Bruce Willis hadn't nuked one, it would have destroyed the world. You see these movies with Bruce Willis where an asteroid is coming and is going to destroy the world. Is that likely? No. <laughs> no. We found... 95% uh, of the large ones, and none of them represent a threat in the next 100 years or so. What about the other 5%? We're still looking. He's talking about objects over half a mile wide that are big enough to cause global destruction. The problem is there are lots of smaller objects over 40 yards in diameter that are unaccounted for and potentially very dangerous. If you look at the light green dot, that's the orbit of the Earth. Ed Liu is a former astronaut who spent six months on the International Space Station. He showed us a computer-generated representation of our solar system. That's the sun in the center, and those green dots are 10,000 near-Earth objects astronomers have found so far. So these green dots are the asteroids that could hit the Earth. This is of the, the, about the, the 10,000 known asteroids. Yes, these are the 10,000 known asteroids. Here's the problem. There's about a factor of 100 more. The real solar system looks like this. And we know this because we've only been able to observe a small fraction of the sky, and we know that there's about 100 times more asteroids Wait, than we've This found. is all the asteroids that are... There are about a million asteroids large enough to destroy a city out there. And right now we only know of, of what percent of those asteroids? About one half of one percent. Does it worry you that you only know one percent of these asteroids that are big enough to destroy a city? Well, most of those are really small, and the odds are that many of these would hit in a remote area or or it could hit in, in an ocean. So uh, that is why the larger ones are those that we were paying attention to first. Now, the next size range is the one to concentrate on, those that can cause you know, continent-wide extinction or, or d destruction. Yeah, th that would be pretty good to That's, prevent that <laughs> continent-wide destruction. <laughs> those are the next ones. We'll continue to find those, and we, and we work our way down to the small ones. But right now, an object that could wipe out the eastern seaboard or New York City could be a day away, and there's a very good chance we wouldn't know about it. Well, we're working to make sure that we will know about it. But right now, we wouldn't know about it. It's possible. 